Good evening. Struggling families could be forced into financial ruin with utilities bills set to soar by hundreds of dollars a year. While Nine News has learned there is some relief in sight, it can't come quick enough for those doing it tough. For Emily Cook, a mum to two young girls, power going up again is like salt into the wound. When I got my first bill, I was like, whoa. And then when I found out they're going to go up even more, now I'm really dreading. Nine News revealed last night retail electricity prices will surge 18% from July 1, adding more than $300 to an average bill each year. Gas also up at almost the same rate. With four kids and a husband, it's uh, pretty bad. While the carbon tax impact here is well below other states because of our gas and wind supplies, our generous solar rebate scheme accounts for a 6.9% jump. Households with panels get 44 cents for each kilowatt hour they put into the network until 2028. The government blames the opposition. The guilty party. The guilty party. The opposition blames the government. The guilty party is the Labor Party. But both voted for the legislation, taxpayers left with the tab. People who are well off are the ones that can afford the solar panels. The government might want to consider how to uh, fund that scheme going forward. But the Premier is not happy with the industry. We think that too many costs are being passed through to consumers. We have less control over that because it's a privatised electricity system. The only bright spark for those struggling with bills is a review into the wholesale price of electricity. Industry analysts have told Nine News there's likely to be a cut, with up to 5% passed on to consumers by the start of next year. Will McDonald, Nine News.